hello viewers in today's lecture we are uh, going to take up an important uh, concept that is differentiability of a function so here we'll solve this uh, problem uh, that is we'll discuss the differentiability of this function f of x is equal to uh, the product of x and mod x at x equal to 0 and we'll test the differentiability of this function at this point x equal to 0. Now we know that uh, mod x is defined as uh, x if uh, x is uh, greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to minus x if x is less than 0. Right? So um, using this definition of mod x uh, in f of x, uh, f of x can now be written as uh, see here we have x and for mod x if we write uh, x then it is x square if x is greater than or equal to 0 right ok now uh, f of x can be written as uh, x times uh, minus x that is equal to minus x square if x is less than 0 now we have the function uh, f of x is equal to uh, x square if uh, x is uh, greater than or equal to 0 and minus x square if x is less than 0 right now we'll uh, find the right hand derivative and uh, the left hand derivative and we will see that uh, both the derivatives that is right hand derivative and left hand derivative exist and uh, they have finite value so the function uh, f of x uh, is differentiable at x equal to 0 right now the right hand derivative is defined as a limit uh, h tends to 0 f of x plus h uh, minus f of x divided by uh, h right now here uh, h is uh, a very small quantity and h is greater than uh, 0 right so here uh, the point is x equal to 0 so here we'll write x equal to 0 because we have to test uh, the differentiability of this function at x equal to 0 so we can write limit uh, h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h uh, minus f of 0 divided by h now this is limit h tends to 0 we have f of h minus f of 0 divided by h now this is the limit h tends to 0 now here we have to find f of h and h is greater than 0 so we'll uh, make use of uh, uh, this part so f of x is x square so here we have h square minus f of 0 is 0 square so it is divided by h now this can be written as limit h tends to 0 we have h square over h and this is limit h tends to 0 and uh, h and uh, 1 h get cancelled so we have limit h tends to 0 h and this is equal to 0 so the right hand derivative is equal to uh, 0 now let us find the uh, limit that is uh, left hand derivative so left hand derivative is defined as limit h tends to 0 f of uh, x minus h minus f of x divided by minus h so here again uh, the quantity h is very small but it is always greater than 0 and for x we have uh, uh, x equal to 0 so we can write limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h minus f of 0 divided by minus h so we have limit h tends to 0 f of minus h minus f of 0 divided by minus uh, limit h tends to 0 and here we have f of uh, minus h right h is a positive quantity and minus h is a negative quantity so here uh, we will use uh, this result right 
so f of x is equal to minus x square if x is less than 0 because h is greater than 0 and minus h is less than 0 right so um, here f of minus h can now be written as minus and here we have minus h square minus f of 0 is uh, 0 square and uh, divided by uh, minus h right so this is limit h tends to 0 and here we have minus and minus h square so negative h square is uh, positive h square and here we have 0 divided by minus h so we can write limit h tends to 0 and we have minus h square over minus h and minus and minus get cancelled so h and uh, uh, one h get cancelled so we have limit h tends to zero uh, h right so now this limit h tends to zero h is equal to zero so we conclude that the uh, left hand derivative is also equal to zero so viewers uh, here we have seen that uh, the right hand derivative and left hand derivative of this function at x equal to 0 are both equal to uh, 0 and uh, this uh, this result uh, uh, we conclude that uh, the uh, function f of x uh, that is uh, the product of x and mod x is uh, differentiable is differentiable at x is equal to 0.